In this screencast, we are going to develop a 95% confidence interval using Excel. The data set has a hundred entries, sample size of a hundred, and we know the population standard deviation. First step is to enter the sample size. So we name it sample size and then the function is to count. We want to count how many there are in our sample size. So the cell numbers, the range, goes from A2 to A101. Equals count will tell us how many there are. We also need to know the sample mean and the sample mean is given by the average function. So equals average and then the same range of the data on the left. And the sample mean, as you can see, is 82. In this case, we are given the population standard deviation, which is 20. We need to enter here the confidence coefficient so we were asked to find a 95% confidence interval so we enter 0 0.95 so the level of significance is 1 minus and I'll enter cell number uh, D8 here One, one minus D eight gives point zero five as the level of significance. First thing to do is to calculate the margin of error. Margin of error. And here we write equals confidence. And then there are three numbers which go into the brackets. The first is the level of significance. So we found a level of significance of 0 0.05 here. So we wanted D9 to be inside the first, inside the bracket as the first term. Comma. Then the second expression inside the bracket is the population standard deviation, which we were given. We don't have to calculate. We, have, we were given was 20. So that can go in here, comma. And then the fourth one is the sample size. So that can go here as D4. Excel needs, of course, the sample size to calculate population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Close brackets, and we get here the margin of error, 3.91, etc. This is uh, too large, so we're going to decrease the number of decimals to bring it down to 2. Uh, decimal places here. So the margin of error is 3.92. Now we need to construct a um, confidence interval around the point estimate of the number of sales, which is the sample mean. So here let's write point estimate again. And the point estimate is just the sample mean here. That was our estimate. So we put that here. So we can write equals D5. Uh, you recall that uh, a confidence interval is the point estimate plus or minus the margin of error. 
So our lower limit will be the point estimate. So I can write uh, D14 minus the margin of error, so minus D12. So that will be the lower limit. The upper limit will be the point estimate, that's 82, it can in, held in cell D14, equals D14 plus the margin of error, which we've got in cell D12. So that is our 95% confidence interval from 78.08 to 85.92.